everyone, today's Ukrainian city is Poltava. We're going to look at some cool structures and some local dining, so let's go check it out. But before we take a look at all the fun parts, we're going to take a look at what hotel we're staying at. The hotel is called Aristokrat, which means best in Greek. This hotel room is not that special. It has two bedrooms and a bathroom. This hotel also includes free breakfast and free Wi-Fi. In Ukrainian, it will be free Wi-Fi. A cool thing about this hotel is that it's located basically on downtown Poltava, which means everything that we need is nearby. This street right here is called Sabona Street. It has all kinds of restaurants, it also has all kinds of shops, and it also has a mall. Now let's go check out their food. We're going to go to a restaurant called Galushka and remember the name because you can see it again in the video. If you're wondering what this restaurant is all about, it's basically a Slavic restaurant that has borscht, pelimeni, and galushki. What I ordered was a cantaloupe soda with mint. We also ordered galushki, and galushki are just dough. 
and we also ordered some pilimeni. That's it for this restaurant, now let's go to a park. To get to the park, you need to cross the underground tunnel. In my opinion, I think that is a smart thing that Ukrainians made up because instead of crossing the road, you can cross underground and it's much safer that way. And instead of wasting a lot of space on the ground, they made a little shopping center where you can buy items and food. This park right here is called Corpus Park, or in Russian, it's called Korpuski Sad. This park has a lot of plants, it also has a statue, and there's also some entertainment for the kids. Now let's take a look at a produce store. Inside is everything that you'd expect inside a produce store. That's it for the produce store. I couldn't record any more footage because it's getting dark, so I'll see you in day two. So here's day two of our travel vlog in Poltava. Here I am at a children's playground where there is carnival games and all kinds of bouncy houses. There's also a large water fountain. Yeah. 
There's also a children's playground that looks like it was built from the Soviet Union. That's it for the playground, now let's go take a look at a local bakery. Inside of the cool little bakery, there's freshly baked goodies, such as pastries and pireshki, as well as some dessert pastries. Now we're gonna go to the Galushka Monument and the Rotunda of People's Friendship. On our way, we saw a sign saying, I love Poltava, and we also saw a statue. In Ukraine, there's a lot of Orthodox churches, and this is one of them. On the right side of the cathedral, there is a pathway which leads to a beautiful view of the city. Now we're going to take a look at the Ukrainian Museum. This museum wasn't free, it was 10 hryvni per person, which is 49 cents in US dollars. And to report here, you had to pay 10 hryvni, which is also 49 cents. What this is, is basically a Ukrainian little village where they show how people live and how they dressed up and also what they had.
now we're going to look at the Galushka structure. This is basically a structure of Galushki, the same thing that we ate earlier in the video. And right by the Galushka structure, there's a little tower that gives you the best view of the city. So this thing right here is called the Rotonda of People's Friendship, which is a really good place to take photos. Now let's go to another restaurant. We want to try something different. That's where we're going to go to a Georgian restaurant. The food on the menu looks good. Now let's see if the food tastes good. Some of the food that we ordered was the green borscht, some Georgian dumplings, some chubureki, and some lamb chops. Now I want to show you a store that looks just like Walmart but a lot smaller. This store also has a little restaurant which I'll show you at the end of the video.
Like I said, the store isn't really big, and now let's go check out the restaurant. It's more of a takeout place instead of a restaurant. What they make is pizza and desserts. And this is the city of Poltava. If you enjoyed this video, you'd probably enjoy my other Ukrainian vlog. Press this video here if you want to see it. And I'll see you next time.